For me, this chapter was really great because in real life, it's the same type of situation. I mean, would you act or would you freeze up? Naruto number ten, target number two. Oh boy, this shit's getting thick up in this. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the nerd nation. I, as always, am Jim here to bring you another review on the awesome, the inspiring, the grandiose tale of Naruto. Our last chapter, of course, saw us with uh, them actually getting uh, Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura, and of course Kakashi、uh, being tasked with、uh, with looking over Tazuna and、um, and and getting him to his、uh, to his homeland, the land of the waves. At the end of the chapter, however, and again, this mission wasn't even really supposed to be given to them. Naruto just kind of bugged and, and nagged the Hokage for it.、Um, at the end of it,、uh, these two two ninja appeared with this cool-looking, almost like metal spider web thing, and and they had it was wrapped around Kakashi. It looks like they just pulled him apart. So, <laughs> definitely a way to end the chapter. That's how things left off. That's right where we pick up over here is in the midst of battle, and、uh, and these two ninja, I actually had、uh, had thought that these these metal gauntlets that they had with this cool looking like metal spider web dealy that came out or whatever that they were like separate like these whips almost that they whipped around. It, it appears as if they're connected to each other's gauntlets, so they move in tandem to get you know people obviously wrapped around whatever their prey or their target is, and then they're able to、uh, to rip them apart, hurt them, maim them, what have you. Um, so very very cool. The first half of the chapter is all just this this battle, and、uh, and ultimately what it is is it, it kind of shows how no matter how much training you have in anything,、uh, this happens in the military、uh, today all around the world.、Um, you never really know what you're going to do. You can say all you want, but once you actually get into the heat of battle, you never know what you're going to do. You never know if that 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 switch is going to flip on, and all of a sudden you're just going to go freaking brutal,、um, you know, on, on whoever it is that you're facing, or Or if you're going to freeze up, and in this case, that's what Naruto did.、Uh, he just he's kind of just standing there. He freezes up during the midst of the, the whole assault.、Uh, it appears that he winds up getting attacked. He winds up getting hit by one of these gauntlets、uh, by these two ninja.、Uh, Sasuke, though, however, without thinking, immediately goes and just you know and pulls out and goes and fires one of his.、Uh, it looks like a shuriken. Then it looks like he fired a kunai as well. And、um, but but it, what he winds up doing is he winds up hitting their their metal whip and, and pinning it against the tree, and what this obviously winds up doing is it distracts them for a minute because they're like, well, we can't get it free, and these things are attached to their their gauntlets, right? This、uh, this this metal whip like、uh, whip like thing, and I, I'm not sure exactly, you know, I'm not well versed in these things. I don't know if there's a name for this, and it's like a common tool of the ninja. If it is, I want one. Actually, I'll take two, and、um, just so I have a backup. But、uh, but it's kind of cool because he goes and he you know he obviously、uh, pins them and distracts them,、uh, pins their their weapon against the tree while they're fiddling around with that. Sasuke comes barreling in and kind of jumps on both of them, and、uh, and it's really neat how the whole just fight starts to ensue as far as the flipping and spinning around and everything. And the whole time Naruto is just he's just, he's frozen, you know, he's just frozen in his tracks. And、uh, we, we we presume Kakashi to be dead.、Uh, Sakura is is trying to. She's scared. She doesn't know what's going on, but she does manage to go and actually do her job and stand in front of、uh, uh, Tazuna. I believe his name is、uh, the the older gentleman that they're supposed to be, you know, guarding. And she she winds up, you know, standing in front of him and what have you. As one of these two ninja goes and kind of races and <laughs> just goes to close the distance and looks like it's going to come right for. Her, all of a sudden, you see. <laughs> Sasuke just jumps in front, you know, and it looks like he's going to take the brunt of it. Then in the next panel, it's great because then all of a sudden Sasuke gets like turned and moved out of the way, all in one fell swoop in motion, and Kakashi appears, right? And kind of guy's got the two ninjas manager, you know. And the next thing you know, these guys are tied up to a tree.、Uh, he didn't kill him or destroy him like he could have. Um, and then it winds up all kind of coming, coming forth and, and getting explained. We find out、uh, very quickly that Naruto and Kakashi goes and immediately he apologizes, like you know I should have jumped in sooner.、Uh, I had you know I, I never took into account that Naruto may have frozen up or anybody really may may have kind of frozen up in the, this being their first battle. Naruto is obviously pissed at himself,、um, and then he winds up telling me he says, "Listen, you got to be careful. Don't move too much.、Uh, that wound on your hand, he did get wounded.、Uh, it was actually from one of these gauntlets、uh, that that the two、uh, two ninja had." 
and those particular gauntlets, uh, he said that they're, they're poisoned. So, you know, we're going to have to cut open that wound and let it basically clean itself out with the blood, uh, bleed it, you know, they, they call it, uh, but don't move too much before the, you know, so otherwise the poison will spread. But Kakashi goes, and because everybody's still like, well, what the hell, are you, you know, all of a sudden you're here, right? And he goes and he explains, and he's like, yeah, it hasn't rained for days, there shouldn't have been any puddles in this net. And, and he explains, like, Inspector Gadget-like, like, hey, listen, I knew something was amiss to begin with. I knew they were there, I knew they were going to attack. I could have killed them at any time. However, the deal here is, is that these, they're actually from the land of the mist, right? And uh, he goes and he explains that these, and I guess this uh, this land is well known for when they're when they're ninja, when they're shinobi, go out on, on these missions. They're they they go out with the intention of you know not coming back, kind of like kamikaze pilots, you know, from World War II, the Japanese kamikaze pilots. They they go with the intention of and the mindset of you know I've written my will, I'm ready to die type of situation. So. Um, and then he goes and he starts questioning, and it's kind of cool how he goes and he says it. He's like, I could have killed them at any time, but I was waiting to see who their true target was. I wanted to see if it was one of us or if it was you, you know. Now, then he goes and he explains to Tazuna, he says, because you're going to need to level with me and tell me what's going on here because this is, the, here's the deal. You told us that you just had, that we were supposed to be protecting you. The order said we were supposed to protect you from roving bands and, and basically thieves and stuff like that. Not that there was any ninja after you. You know what I mean? This is like some next level stuff. And this is well beyond the actual ranking of the mission that we were given. We don't have the means. Obviously, we have three new fresh out of training recruits here. And of course, Kakashi being the badass himself. But he's kind of like, hey, you know, so you never should conceal information especially when it comes to protecting your life you dumb shit you know he's trying to explain this to him in a nice way you know uh so we don't really find out immediately exactly what's going on or anything like that we just know that obviously there's a little more to it than actually what's being let on and it's kind of neat how they show it from then on because naruto is uh, is upset they're talking about how they might have to go back to the village to get naruto medical attention and this and that and he's thinking in his mind god you know why am i weighing everybody down over here all the extra practice I've been putting in, all the extra time, I just wanted to prove myself, and then the battle comes, and I freeze up, right? So Naruto goes in, and saw, uh, the switch kind of flips in his head, man, and that switch goes in and turns on. Anybody who ever saw the uh, the, the movie, it's actually about arm wrestling, believe it or not, it's uh, from from the 80s, it was called Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone. He talks about how, he says, yeah, when I got this head, when I turn it around, it's like flipping a switch in my head, you know? And it's like turning on the extra juice, you know? So Naruto turned on the extra juice. And then he goes and he's just like, I'm never going to be a burden to anybody else. You know, and I swear by the pain in my left hand. And he just goes, <laughs> takes a kunai and just starts digging that shit out, you know? So then he goes and he's like, <laughs> you know, and he's bleeding this thing, you know? Then he says, uh, he says, you know, Master Kakashi, you know, I'm reporting for duty. I'm fine. You know, that, that, that type of thing. And, uh, which I thought was cool, you know, because he's like, and he's, and he's saying, he's like, and, and he's saying in his head and even out loud, you know, I, ne I vow to never have to have anybody save my life again, you know, and, uh, and not to let Sasuke be better than me. <laughs> so <laughs> definitely kind of cool over there, but we find out there's obviously these clan miss ninja that came after him, the Shinobi. While this is all transpiring, it's flipping back and forth. And it took me, I had to read it again to kind of understand it flipped back and forth, uh, to the actual, um, wh wherever it may be that these, that these ninja were, were sent out from and uh they find out i don't know if they were released and then they they, they let go like you know let them go or if they escaped or if somehow word just got back to them whatever the case may be but they're sitting there having this this little meeting and they're like okay and they they failed and this and that the oni brothers uh we find out is what their name were they failed and uh, and now of course any attack on uh kakashi and naruto sasuke you know what while they're protecting tizuna is certainly going to be uh it, it's they're, they're going to be aware of it is, is the whole point of it but then the chapter goes and ends up up, which I kind of liked and it showed you know after it showed Naruto doing the you know and I, I love this too he's just like well I will protect the old man reporting fit for duty master and that's just a cool kind of Naruto it's got he's got a good look on his face it's the first time you've kind of seen him where he doesn't look to me he doesn't look as much as childlike and it's just a sort of you know goofy and class clown like he looks like I am gonna mess some shit up you know but then the final page over here is cool you just see this dude sitting here and he looks a little goofy but Anyways, like, I'll take the hit by myself, you know? And they're just like, uh, yes, sir, but uh, are you sure you really want to? And then he goes, uh, you know, they, they say, you know, the enemy has hired ninjas of tremendous skill. And besides, now that the Oni brothers have tried and failed, uh, you know, they'll obviously be on guard against further attempts. And then he just goes and he's just like, remember to whom you are speaking. I am Momochi Zabuza, the demon of the hidden mist. 
So apparently this guy, I don't know if he's a force to be reckoned with, but they're kind of introducing him as, as such, you know. So the demon of the hidden mist, which I, I kind of think is very cool. So that's how the chapter ends off. Uh, all in all, very fun, very cool. I like the way the action is depicted. I like the way the battles went. And, uh, and really, I guess uh, my chapter question is going to be... Um, have you ever been in a situation, uh, an altercation, where you've had to uh, argue, where you've had to fight, where you've had to get out of your comfort zone and do something or say something different? I know this doesn't pertain particularly to the chapter, but it does. It pertains to one of the main themes in the chapter, which is no matter how big and bad you are on paper or how good you've trained or how hard you've trained, when bullets start flying, when punches start getting thrown, when you're in the heat of the moment, that danger, whatever it may be, um, you know, are you going to, when you've been in that situation, were you able to react or did you freeze up? And it's okay either way. I'm not here to judge. I've been in situations where both have happened to me. I've been in situations where I felt frozen in place and I couldn't move. And I've been in situations where I've had to quickly act and I've probably acted too quickly, uh, maybe kind of jumped the gun or maybe even in too brutal of a fashion. But uh, nowadays, for the most part, if my family is threatened in any way, shape, or form. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you come from, and I don't care how bad you think you are, you are going to go up against a raging fucking lunatic in me, and I am not going to stop until I feel that my family is safe. And that's just me in particular. Um, I'm not like that for the most part with myself, but when it comes to my wife and kids, I am. And uh, so I just kinda wanna you know, get, uh, get a little bit of feeling from you, brothers and sisters of the nation, what your thoughts are on those type of things, uh, and uh, you know maybe give a description if you feel uh, if you feel like putting in the comments of, uh, of a situation that you were in and how you handled it, uh, whether you did freeze up, whether you acted, if you thought you acted irrationally, or or if you acted you know if your acts were justified. Um, but leave your answer to that question in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Now I know look forward to catching you. In the next fun nation. For some reason, my brain and my finger and my hands is not working right today. I'll see you next time. Do you like zombies, katana swords, or being naked in the dark? If you answered yes to any of these questions, go over and check out my Facebook and Instagram pages.